They don't give a fuck about us. Welcome to the channel if you're new. Always remember to subscribe and like the video you are about to watch. CPS knocks on the wrong door. The gentleman that answers the door knows more of the law than these two women. If you are new and don't know much of the law or your rights, then this is the channel for you. We all run into police or CPS or know someone who has we usually don't know what to say or do so it's very important we know the Constitution. Hello. Hi. Is Emily home? No. Okay, I okay. want to talk with you guys. You guys were here on the 19th. I have you on film. You scheduled this meeting for the 2nd. Okay. What are you still doing here? If you guys had a real case, why would you schedule this so far out? Okay. Why are you still knocking? So we can't confirm or deny our involvement with you. We cool. With That's them. fine. Okay. But I'm the roommate, and now you're knocking on my door okay. and disturbing my time off of work. Okay. I can speak for my roommate. She's a brilliant mother, fantastic mother. Loves her daughter to death, okay. would never jeopardize or put her daughter in harm. Okay. And to be quite frank, if you keep this up without going through proper channels, an anonymous referral, as far as I'm aware, does not equate probable cause or give you the ability to come knock, harass us via phone, via mailbox. Uh, we've got into this with Brit Miss Brittany Warner, and I will have no problem going to the Willow Bank, speaking with you guys as supervisors, and filing complaints. Okay. So, Miss Emily can't afford her phone right now. Okay. She's off working out and about. I can't help you get in touch with her, but like I said, it has nothing to do with me. But you're knocking on my door now. I'm a paying tenant here sure. who does not like government officials whatsoever, at all. Okay. I have contacts with the press, with the ACLU, very heavy-handed power that I can file civil and criminal suits if I feel our rights are being violated. And right now, I feel harassed. Then I'm getting stuck, stuck in the mailbox. She's not seeing it. You know, I'm having to track her down. Hey, they want something. She's going, well, I, I'm not going to be there. I have a doctor's appointment that she's already scheduled. You guys are SOL. What I'm saying is, is your CYS law dictates that if there's an imminent danger to the child, you guys move in. Police, the whole nine yards. The fact that you were here on January 19th, you sent a letter dated for the 22nd, and scheduled an appointment 10 days out is a clear admission by you guys that there's no Im imminent Sir, danger. We're not going to Doesn't matter. Deny that's in I, I know you're not. We're not. But that's a clear admission by you guys that there's no imminent problem. Okay. Or Can else you, you would no. let her know that we called. That we I, I'm going to let her know and I'm also going to let your agency know and the county commissioners that if this keeps up and we keep we're the victim of constant anonymous phone calls. This is the third or fourth time you guys have been out here. If this harassment keeps up, I will bear Okay. The full force of protesting okay. at you specifically, ladies. Okay. I have you on you picture. Right. I know you who sir. you are, Miss Shear Sprout. Sprout. I know who you are. Okay. Do you have any children? Sir, do you have children? Have this conversation. You don't We're have done. children. We're done. How are you? How are you qualified? We're done. How are you guys?